Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, yet another episode of Expert Talk series on product management of ISBR Business School. Today with us, we have Mr. Amit Gar. He is a pass out of IIT Banaras. He has worked as a business analyst at Medanta. He has also worked in Credence as a business analyst and is currently working as a product manager in MFine. We welcome you, sir. Yeah, thanks, thanks, you know, for, uh, for to host me up. Yeah. So, um, so to start with, uh, what made you inclined towards the product line? I mean, first thing, of course, like uh, when I, I mean, when I joined, uh, when I was, when I graduated, right? So I did not have much idea like what you wanted to do with my career and all. So there are sort of very limited options when you don't have certain skills. Like for example, like these days in IT industry, right? Well, like if I talk about like what usually people go after, first thing is of course like the like challenging work and like the uh, and since second thing is since you're going for jobs and all you also uh, worry about the money like whether money is good or not right so once like based on the skills you have you have very limited number of options so in that case there are certain things which comes in the mind which is analytics product management right um, business so those kind of things so i started exploring actually as soon as i graduated i had a little bit understanding even my i mean uh, senior year in the college like uh, what all these roles actually mean and how other career uh, lines in these roles are and what you will be doing after that so spending some amount of time there right so it was more about the exploration and once i i mean i since you can you have you also said right i was a business analyst at two places then i moved into product management so there i mean i got to know yeah this particular field actually like intrigues me and would like to and where i would like to like do my uh i mean go uh, uh do my career on him so if I talk about like certain aspects of product management, which I like, it would be more like, just, of course, the challenging tasks that we get and how close we are with the business along with the technology, right? So like we have a very uh, big role in driving the business as well and how we support the business in scaling and the experience that we provide to the customer, which are, are huge, um, usual business are not able to provide, right? So this is what I mean, I like in, in my job and uh, that's what I crave for at the moment. All right. Uh, that's great. So, so now as you are into the product line, uh, what is the best thing about being a product manager? Yeah. I mean, as a sponsor, like for me, you get to play a different roles all the time. Right. So just being a product manager, it's not like you have a limit, like you limited scope of this tools and responsibilities. You would be work sometime working as a man marketing person as well, because you have to make sure the product that you're building, like reaches into enough number of people, right. You are working in the UX, uh, UX uh, side as well, because you have to make sure like people are liking your product while they're using it the metrics side like so you understand like why you are building the product right what kind of business will generate for your company or let's say how it will help the people yeah, for whom you are building this so all these things actually like are like as i said we want to go like it helps me actually uh helps me in deciding like i mean deciding what i want to do and uh, since this is very close to what i want to do right so that's why i like the product management role Okay. Uh, that's, that's really great. Um, so, um, what does success and failure look like in a product manager's life? So success and failure. Yeah, that's a good question. And, uh, but honestly, like, uh, success is what your product says, right? If people like your product, so because let's say when you build something from scratch, right, it could be zero to one or like some kind of features that you're uh, like uh, building over to improve some certain metric. If those you achieve those metrics, right? Those, I mean, that's a success for you. If you don't, then again, it's not like, then you get to learn about that. Your hypothesis were wrong. Right. And then you restart. So I believe there's a success of course, but I won't say there's a failure. So from, I mean, so just a like drawback that you got. And from that drawback, you would just start again and, uh, try to achieve the right, the metric that you wanted to, uh, achieve. So, yeah. All right. Uh, that's great. So, you know, so while we were working on this course, we came across a lot of people, you know, who were from the non-engineering background and some from the engineering background as well. So one thing which, you know, which, uh, uh, you know, which we could find out was, uh, there is a myth that uh, product management is only meant for engineers. Is that true? And, uh, how difficult is it for someone with a non-engineering background to get, you know, to, you know, to get into, uh, into product management? 
so as you say like yeah definitely is a myth like you don't need to be an engineer to become a product manager you can come from any background you, to be honest you don't even require a degree so you just know how to like so like how to pick the right problem and how to solve it right and at what time so this is what actually problem like if i summarize it what is product management correct so this is a thing and but if i talk about let's say if someone wants to like who is not from engineering background right and they want to get into uh, product management uh, line the only problem you might face is some company some uh, organization actually have this particular uh, uh, constraint in their uh, job application so like you should be grad like should be an engineer right other than that i don't see any challenge here and there are ways like you can actually tackle those as well for example let's say even in linkedin if you are seeing some company who have posted that you should be like coming from engineering background with four years for like four year course or something like so in that case you just go apply and uh, along with that you send them your cover letter as well because if you send your cover letter and you mention like why you should be also consider even even without an uh, even if you don't have an engineering degree and if you are able to prove that right so i think they would consider you so only challenges are like if they have any kind of limit i mean concern or there otherwise i don't think there's a problem so it's just i would say yeah, to become a product manager you don't need an engineering degree only challenge would be like how to get a like first i mean consideration itself from a certain organization or company or startup all right that's that's great uh, one of the things that we came across while we were you know researching about the course and and everything um it is often said that a product manager is a mini ceo of, you know of the product uh, what are your insights on the same i mean see uh first thing is if I, uh ownership has to be like you are the like top owner right of that product so if anything goes wrong you have to take care of it you have to make sure like if whoever is working on the product is available right so yeah i would say yeah he or she whoever is a product manager or mean product right i would say they you can call them a mini ceo of that particular product but uh, it might uh, vary from uh, uh, it might vary sometimes because uh, suppose in, in one project suppose like there are two product managers right it would happen like you can't have multiple product ceo right so in that case like the person who is actually influencing the right decisions and all so those guys would like that person would be so there's no ceo like ceo chief executive so ceo what what does it mean chief executive officer like like who, whose call would be like the deciding factor in case of any kind of like tie tie or something right So, I mean that's all. That in the I mean otherwise like um, people like who are not you also like uh, take execution calls and all. So I would say it, it is. I mean it's a gray area. But still, I I would still like to be called as a product manager only. No many CEO or micro CEO or anything. Right. I guess uh, you know that gives a lot of clarity on the mm-hmm. you know on the thought. Um. So what is the demand that you foresee for product managers in India? like in the like uh, if i talk about the couple, last couple of years it has increased and i believe it will only increase based on the requirements coming up right new startup new technologies are like coming into the ecosystem web3 is also coming so few product managers will need there as well which will be a little more technical bit then we have a, like uh, even if we talk about fintech uh, fintech is also booming a lot in india right now if i just talk about indian ecosystem startup ecosystem and like normal organization right so if and right now i'm talk, talking about just a technology field like where like how you how the uh, organization has your technology to scale a business so it's all like since the economy is like in that direction only i think based on the requirement like it will only increase in the couple, next couple of years as well and but up ahead of that i don't think anyone can see the future and all right so right so um so as you mentioned that you know the demand would just increase uh, mm-hmm. how important would a course like a product management be uh come again sorry uh you know so i said that as you said mm-hmm. uh the demand would be increasing only for product managers how important would a course like product management be course okay so i mean i'm not sure about it. I, i might not be able to answer it properly because reason is i did not take any course to get into product management i just uh, i mean as when i joined in when i started as a like analyst there i through awesome users i saw how product managers were working i learned that and i got into the role so through course i'm not sure like how it helps like what is a how the guidelines of the course are right what are the i mean metrics the course follows to improve you as a product management so i'm sorry i'm i'm not i, I don't think i'm capable of answering that question 
all right no uh, no issues amit uh, so before we end the interview do you have any short message for the budding product managers in the country you know who want to get into the product line uh first thing is like uh, i mean so it what i whatever I'm, i what message i would give is like could be actually generalized for anything so first thing is like whatever you're doing right just always maintain your calm doesn't matter like uh, even if you become a product manager or you become a handler so you get into anything right keep maintaining your calm so that's very important in any kind of roles and it's more important in product managers like because you have a lot of ownerships you have you have a certain delivery dates right a lot of stakeholder depends on you so calm like being calm is a topmost thing that you have to do for yourself reason is because it gives you more clarity in term, in when it, when you are in i mean problems and all right so this is first thing second is keep reading keep learning as much as possible because it will keep you ahead of your own decisions as well suppose like today like you solve some problem right so you will that at that moment you will realize yeah, i could have done it in the, that way right like those kind of things you will get to know so only like way to like uh, go ahead of that is like you should you should, like you should not regret it afterwards like first thing yeah, i mean in that case right and uh, to always like never like consider failures as uh, i mean count feel fa- count failures as failures count them as just like your hypothesis proved to be wrong right so as i said gave you example as well right like because let's say you said like i think this could work but it didn't work then you just got to know these things don't work right so yeah this is the way i mean everyone should actually look uh, forward in product management or any kind of role uh, as such that's uh, that's really great amit i'm very sure that our viewers would be taking down notes on the same and and those and those students who like you know especially want to get into product management this video would have been really helpful uh, thank you for taking out time out of your busy schedule for this interview and thank you viewers for watching this uh, stay tuned for more